A former nurse in a Clarksville, Indiana nursing home during COVID-19 has been charged with a felony after removing a patient's oxygen and then posted a message about it on Facebook. The COVID-19 patient died hours later, but as we're hearing from the Clark County prosecutor tonight, the nurse is not facing a murder charge. The night team's Tyler Emery explains. Investigators say a former nurse at the Wedgwood Healthcare Center in Clarksville removed a COVID-19 patient's oxygen without a doctor's permission as required by Indiana law. I have not filed a case like this before. Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mull says he charged 52-year-old Connie Sneed with a level 5 felony for practicing medicine without a license. It would not be possible for me to prove um, a murder charge or, or that she knowingly or intentionally killed. Uh, this gentleman. Investigative reports show Sneed was caring for 72 year old James Godfrey at the facility last April when he contracted COVID-19. Sneed started Godfrey on oxygen and says the mask was agitating him. In a Facebook post, she later wrote that she asked him if he wanted her to take it off and let you go fly with the angels. And he said yes. We can't have a situation where LPN nurses are deciding when someone's life sustaining measures uh, need to be removed. That can't be the case. Mull says evidence shows Godfrey Godfrey's health was declining and he had a do not resuscitate order. He and or his family uh, had made the decision uh, uh, to not transport him to a hospital uh, for, for care or to be put on a ventilator. The state report found the resident received no additional treatment for COVID-19 and died nearly eight hours after Sneed removed his oxygen. Prosecutors say she never had doctor's approval to remove the mask and a nurse can't make that decision on their own. It's, a, it's an unfortunate situation, a sad case, and, um, and nobody's a winner here. Sneed was let go from Wedgwood May 6th when it was determined she had violated the care facility's policies by both giving and then removing the oxygen. She had worked there 15 years. You know, this is a nurse who uh, was working, you know, 10, 12 hour days, uh, weeks in a row. Uh, trying to help the COVID patients. The felony charge carries a maximum potential five years in prison if convicted. For the night team, I'm Tyler Emery.